Christians, pay attention to this. There's a two-tier justice system now the world across, including the United States, and it's basically, it's politically based, but it's going, they're coming for us. I'm going to tell you in a second exactly where it's already started. But right now, if you're a member of one party, you get treated one way, one party, you get treated another way. You're this party, you do 20 years for something to happen in January. You're this party, you do zero years for burning down cities and everything else. Okay, you got that? All right. Now, that is the test run of a two-tier justice system that's going to be Christians and everybody else. You want to know where it's already started? Well, it's already started in England, where a woman just got four years in prison for silently praying to herself outside of one of those clinics. You know what I'm talking about? All right. So what we're seeing is they test marketed this whole thing with the divisions in the political system. You know, by the way, you know what politics is? Politics is man and the enemy's attempt to run the world as though we are God. Politics is inherently corrupt, period. There's nothing you can do about that. It's, it's inherently corrupt. But that is their test, their test. Okay, can we divide these people and take this political party and let them get away with anything and this political party and put them in jail? Yeah, that worked great. Now, and they've ramped it up in... England right now, if you're a member of a certain anti-Christian religion, it's okay for you to run through the streets with melee weapons assaulting people, and jars of caustic chemicals, throwing them at them, whatever. That's fine. However, like I said earlier, if you're praying silently, now this is a thought crime, and the thought is prayer. This should make everybody really nervous, especially people who follow the Lord. But, um, yeah, you get four years in prison for that one. So what they've done is basically they're beginning the slow, but it's going to go a lot faster, but the slow criminalization of something we are commanded to do, which is show our faith. Jesus Christ said, if you deny me before man, I will deny you before my father. They're beginning the criminalization of us adhering to his words. And the thought crime that is prayer. Share this with people in your church. I'm going to tag that other video so I'll get a wider audience on this one. And um, we'll see what happens. By the way, the third time I've recorded this and the last time it's crashed on upload. Hmm. Kind of strange.